My name is Vincent Muloy. For the past year, I've worked to understand a man, an activist, a poet, a veteran of the struggle, a fighter, a puzzle, another human being. Dennis Brutus has been fighting with the world for over 60 years. I wanted to understand why. I didn't know of, of Dennis Brutus until two years ago. I met Dennis as an anti-globalization activist. We have conquered apartheid. Now we must conquer global apartheid. I learned that he had been an important anti-apartheid activist, central to getting South Africa kicked out of the Olympic Games. Yet, he's not known as a struggle hero. I mean, this is a man who came close to death. Jailed, beaten, and banned for his actions, he was a former comrade to the most famous of our struggle heroes. But he's now one of their fiercest critics. Well, what they do? She is in favor of the world's fate because she is one of the beneficiaries. When they set him free, they actually didn't know what they were doing. Thank you. Thank you all of you for coming. I am a rebel and freedom is my cause. Many of you have fought similar struggles. Therefore, you must join my cause. Hi, Prof. I'm a bit confused. It looks like we misunderstood each other. I'm going back again to domestic Europe. <laughs> You're gonna have to be a paparazzi if you're gonna follow Dennis Brutus around. Because he moves so quick, despite the fact that he's almost 80. Here you are. I see you. <laughs> From his <Missouri. laughs> Don't worry. I'll accept the apology when you're on bended knees. I know Dennis Brutus, the activist, the poet. But as a man, he's harder to find, harder to understand, a challenge to unravel. You never saw my scar, huh? No, I have. Bullet scar. When I was shot. I used to be a tea boy at the University of the Witwatersrand. And then I was fired. For me to understand the way you work, what inspires you, what are your goals in our business? You know how I make tea? How you make tea as well could be part of it. Uh, yeah. but I, I'm, I'm more interested in to know what drives you. You will get the one where the tea bag broke. Okay. Uh, what were you saying? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Okay, just in my Was it worth paying attention? <laughs> I knew getting closer to Dennis wouldn't be easy but I never imagined just how hard he would make it. Jane sent me these manuscripts, which I now have to discuss at the launch. <laughs> and I, I barely had time to read them. Okay. We better get out of here. I find it ironic that Dennis worked so hard to bring our government to power. And yet now he's so outspoken against them. I'm quite interested to know why they picked you to come and be the keynote speaker. Pure accident. <laughs> After all the big shots had climbed, you know, yeah. <laughs> I was just back up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that was when they ran out of people. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're in trouble. <laughs> oh, check this, Prof. I've got you in the same picture with Mandela. Yes, that is a little unusual. Of course, we are in the same picture in the shot on Robben Island. We are breaking stones together, you know. We know that the government in power today is highly sensitive to issues of criticism. The people do not hate. We know that. 
criticism, whether it's on corruption and deals in arms, whether it's on the failure in relation to AIDS. This government is committed to a wrong direction, is committed to false and dangerous and destructive and inhumane policies. Land for the landless! We really must be ready. Things are going to get rough. And we have to arm ourselves with the weapons of knowledge, the weapons of awareness, the weapons of activism. <laughs> My cause is a dream of freedom, and you must help me to make my dream reality. Is not revolution making reality of hope? I think I haven't asked you this question. All right. What makes Danix tick? Uh huh. Well, uh, I I don't know if there's a precise answer to that. I have a heart which beats and a pulse. What makes me do what I do? I suppose I'm interested in social issues, social justice issues. Why? Probably because I grew up with parents who cared about social issues, and so I found myself caring about them. I followed Dennis to his hometown of Port Elizabeth, breeding ground for many of South Africa's activists. I was looking for clues for the foundation of a man. <laughs> 